Hey everybody, it's Robbie John here. Hope you're having a good day slash evening, night, whatever, wherever you are. Um, right now I'm just gonna show you guys how to make two sliding doors that are relatively simple. Um, this one is just very easy. Uh, I just have it, I mean, I don't have it closed. You could move them however you wanted, but um, right now I just wanted to show you guys like if you were to touch the sensor part down here, obviously you'd have this like transparent so no one could see it but you touch it and it just shows you that um, you can have a door work like that. Uh, or I could have you do a door like this where it doesn't work, but if you come over to the desk, you can unlock the door and then the colors will change saying, hey, it's unlocked. And you walk in front of it and it has a nice little noise and opens and shuts. I made this door for my game that I have. Uh, let's see if I could pop it up and show you really quick. Uh, it's a game that I'm working on. If you guys are uh, interested in checking out my stream, um, I've got like a space station going on here. A uh, nice little hallway, hallways and stuff. It's in it's in progress. So you know, I got a bunch of different little games that I'm working on. So if you guys catch me, you might see what I'm doing or see what I'm up to. Anyways, uh, let's get into the scripting ish part of it. So for this guy. Um, I've got one little script here, and this is for the sensor. We could actually change this to, to name it sensor if you wanted, just so you could easily see your stuff better. But this is the whole door. Um, you have the center part of the door. I just named different models, like door one, door two, right? Um, let's see. So anyways, um, with these guys, basically you have the center, like I was saying, where it's tweening from. So I have like a little spot that it can return to and then a tween to. I know you could also get like the C frame and stuff of your models if you wanted to, but this just seems to be a little easier and a little more precise for me, I guess. Um, sure, it requires maybe two more parts, but whatever, it's not that big of a deal. Um, the only part you really anchor is the main center part. And then you would just weld whoops sorry the center part and you would just weld that to the other parts which is like if you were to have like a button on your door or whatever so I just use this little part here for the example right and uh, it's really simple um, when you go in here you have to you know define your parts and what you're trying to do the service that you're trying to use we're trying to tween them so we're using the tween service so you have to get that service um, you have to show your doors so you have the door centers, right? And then you have the position. So this is the first position and then the second position of door one. And then the same thing for this for door two. And it's really simple. You make a little touched event where it gets hit. And you could say if, if it's a humanoid or whatever, so it has to check, then you can have it run this way. Cause like, let's say for example, uh, if it's hit by someone shooting bullets, right? Well, that might cause this to open up. Um, or let's just say like you have an alien chasing you in your game because I'm making like a space-like thing, right? Uh, then it would cause it to open as well. You can make it just so that only certain characters could open it, whatever. Uh, not that hard to do. Um, so you have a tween service that you have to create. Uh, you put in the door one of center, right? tween it and then you have when you fill out the tween info it actually like almost fills it out for you so for example this right here is the time it takes to tween and then you have to choose the type of style that you want to tween it so linear is kind of like the smoothest style that i've seen but like there's a lot of unique ways you could do things i think i have like a a, a door that actually pops open and shuts um that I have in one of my dungeon games, so I think I used uh, like Quint. What did I use? I, I used. I think it was like a. I don't even remember. Let's be honest. Uh, but anyways, then you can have like the different styles. So like it's going out. So I use like the out. I don't know if you you could just mess with the ins and outs if you want, whichever works best for you. It's like a different way of it moving. Um, and then you want to move it to the C frame of the second position, which is the tween two position. And yeah, and then you would open, then you would want to shut it, right? So then it would have to come back to the first position. 
Because this is the second one. Oh, this is what it's being tween to, and this is tween from. Yeah. And that's pretty much it for those. Uh, we messed around with the... Um, where's the desk at? There it is. Uh, the proximity prompt. That's kind of new. Um, I don't think it's out quite yet, but like this is just kind of like a little thing that I have set up for this. Uh, I have it so like, you know, I put it in the monitor, all that other good stuff. Um, they have the prompt hold begin. So you have the typing noises when you play it and then when you stop. Um, then I have like an access granted. So like once it's triggered, yep. And then you have the transparency changing and all that stuff. So that like you have the colors change from basically that orangish to the blue. And that does the same thing to the, the door as well. So I'll show you once more. And I'm going to drop this model in the description too. So if you guys want to check it out, this one right here that I'm, I'm going to put in there, I'll put the other one in there too as well. Why not? But it's pretty nice. Doesn't take that long to do. Probably like five minutes. So yeah, take it easy guys. Hey guys, it's uh, Robbie John here. Thanks for checking out my video. Hope you like and subscribe it. Um, I really would appreciate it. Um, my kitty. Uh, yeah. Check out my Twitch if you guys can too. Um, I'm usually live like either every other day or, you know, at least three to three times a week depending on my schedule. Or you can join my Discord as well. So take it easy, guys. Rock on.